Gary from Mr G Shave. How are we all doing? It's another Friday. Um, thank God the week's over. <laughs> I hope you've all had a great week <coughs> and uh, successfully managed to achieve everything that you had planned. Um, um, yeah, so today's, today's a head shave, obviously Friday head shave. Um, and I'm taking part in this um, UK soaps. Oh, I do apologize. I've got to turn that thing off. Um, I'm taking part in the UK soaps August. So, so that a lot of the UK YouTubers are just doing UK soaps in, in August just to sort of give them a bit of a, a push. So, um, yeah. Um, what am I using today? Uh, as I usually do on my head shaves, I'm using a cream. Um, but I'll go with the hardware first and introduce the software as I use it. The brush today is the Yaki 28mm Beetlejuice or Bear brush. So it's known, I think the official name is the Beetlejuice brush. And Beetlejuice I think is, a, is either a star or a planet. Uh, and apparently that's what it kind of looks like, but there you go. Um, so that's the brush. The razor, the trusty leaf, and it's still got the Lord Super Chrome blades in it. I think this is the fourth use. It could be the third though, so I'm gonna give them another run. And if I have to stop halfway through to change the blades, I will, but um, I think this will definitely be the last time I use these blades in this razor. So, um, right. I'm just going to get on with the, the head shave if I'm honest. I'm pretty much ready to go, so... Yeah, I've, I've been getting quite a few new subscribers recently. I'm, I, you know, just wanted to thank everybody, all those people that have been with me from the beginning, and all those people that are new, um, and ev everything in between. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate you su supporting and subscribing, and even more so commenting, because some of the comments can be quite funny. Um, but yeah, um, what am I using on the old face? On oh, no, the, not face, on the head. I've sprayed my head and I've not put the pre-shave on. I'm gonna be using a PAA mentholated cube. So I hope you can see that. And I'm just gonna put that straight on the dome, or the solar panel, as I sometimes like to call it. We're in for some, I, don't, I think it's scattered showers today, but it could get quite stormy in terms of lightning and thunder and lightning sort of thing. Um, we've got a, a weather warning here. Um, I'm not sure how accurate that is, because when I saw the main forecast, it was sort of very, very hit and miss. But for my village, it's basically come up with a a warning to say that we might. There's a 70% chance of scattered showers and thunder and lightning, so that's fine. Right, let's fill the bowl. I haven't filled the bowl. I haven't prepared. <laughs> I've been a bit distracted. I've got two, two of my four grandchildren here today. Luckily my daughter's here and she's... Look at what... Yeah, this is getting confusing. My grandchildren's mother, my daughter, is, has had to go out to do something. My other daughter's here babysitting the two grandchildren while I do my shave. So, yeah, complicated. But that's what happens with families, isn't it? <clears throat> right, here we go. So, today's soap is a British soap. I've checked. I had to make sure it was made in the UK. It's Body Shop Macaroot. For men, um, really, really nice. I, I, I really rate this. Um, it's a British soap, a British cream. Um, it's this one is probably about two thirds full still, and it's still the original version. So, I'm just putting a little bit of about an almond sized bit of soap in there. Or cream. The scent on this, I would say it's a good three or four, no, three out of ten. And it's just, I'm, I'm guessing it smells of macaroot, but I, I've never smelt macaroot before. 
but the smell is, is really nice and really refreshing. I'm just putting a bit of water in the brush. Now this for me is one of the slickest, slickest creams that I know. Um, and it's something I'd, I'd probably take this on holiday because it's quite cheap. Um, very easy to use. You don't need a bowl um, to, to lather up. Hang on. Hello. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> so, this is my grandson. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> Wave. Wave. There you go. <laughs> so there you go. He's he's been watching. He's a he's a big fan of mine on my channel. So. Mwah. Right. I'll let you go out. Do you want to say hello, Imogen? Do you want to come up here and say hello? Wave to the camera? No, she's too shy. <laughs> That's alright, don't worry. They can watch if they want. <laughs> so yeah, I've now got an audience. But that's fine. A bit more water. About three squirts into the brush. Straight onto the solar panel and there we go I think they're getting bored now are they? <laughs> do you want to say hello Imogen? no? and then there's Joshua you alright Joshua? <laughs> right let's get on with the shades shut the door Kids, eh? I think it was John John shows 101 saying he got distracted by his grandchildren and I, I left a comment on his uh, video saying they wear me out just watching them play <laughs> right so here we go with the grain great. I do really enjoy using this leaf razor. Um, I've been talking to somebody on one of the Facebook groups and they asked the question on there, you know, was the leaf really worth buying for head shaves? And I think I was the first to answer and I said absolutely yes, you know, I mean you, you won't regret it. So I thought it was rather relevant that I do a leaf razor shave in case he watches it. My Joshua, the, the, my grandson, has got into dinosaurs. So he goes around everywhere going, rah! <laughs> it's great. Oh, this, I've been looking forward to this head shave, I must admit. I haven't shaved my head all week. I was desperate for a head shave. So what have you guys got planned for the weekend? Anything exciting? I'll probably end up down the same, the, the same hostillery as I usually do on a weekend at some point. Uh, probably on Sunday. Oh no, it's Saturday because the Lions, the Lions rugby team are playing against South Africa and I think it's the decider. It's one all. It's the best out of three. And uh, I think it's one all. So I shall definitely be attending the local public house to uh, watch the game and partake in a few beers and shout and scream at the tally or the big screen so right here we go If you can hear that in the back room, that's, that's my grandson being a dinosaur. <laughs> Talk about distracting. It's fine, that's what grandchildren are, I love them. Uh, 
as I think I said last time, there's something so relaxing and cathartic. Big word I know for a Friday, but I haven't been to the pub yet. Um, <laughs> but there's something just so relaxing um, about shaving your head. I, I, it, I, it's difficult to say. I think I probably enjoy shaving my head that once a week or well, twice a week. I do normally shave on a Monday as well before my BOTB or, or whatever video I'm doing on a Monday. Um, but I didn't this week, so. Uh, but yeah, by Friday I'm really ready for a head shave. And it, it's, um, in some respects I actually prefer to leave it for a week because then I know on a Friday, when I shave on, on a Friday that I know the weekend's begun. <laughs> It's just part of my weekend prep. This is amazing. And I'll say it again and again, if you're a head shaver and you don't own one of these leaf razors, you, you, you've got to invest in one. You really have. Um, I mean, it depends. I mean, there are people out there crazy people out there who think the R41, which is nicknamed the beast, is the best head shaver. It's not something I'd recommend to a beginner though. Um, I, I think you, some, a, a beginner will find this very easy to, to convert to, and then you can start playing with DEs. It's exactly the same way I started really. I, I, I started with the cart razor, and then I moved on to this, and then I started using DEs. So. Um, but yeah, I, I have to say that I would think the majority of head shavers would love this. Um, and the great thing about it as well is that you can, it, because you load your own DE blades, ecology aside, but you've got three slots. For the for the blades and I only use the bottom two that's that's my preference that's when I get the best shave the closest shave but there are many others out there who prefer to have three blades in it and then there are some out there who only put one blade in <clears throat> so <clears throat> and I must admit I've not tried it with just one blade <clears throat> and I'd have to experiment where that blade went in the three slots that are available top middle or bottom but yeah what am I doing? I've lost my brush. There it is. Um, just doing a, adding a bit of H2O hydration. This maca root, it's not an in your face scent. It's probably a three or a four out of, out of 10 in scent strength. But bearing in mind, I'm talking about the old version. Slickness wise, this is one of the slickest soaps, creams, sorry, that I know, that I know of. Um, I, I'd, I'd even go as far to say that this is probably, this, the original version, I don't know about the new version. Uh, I'll have to give that a go, I've got a tub in the cupboard. Um, but the newer version might be different. But I have to say, this has been in my den pretty much from the first couple of months that I was DE razor shaving. Uh, obviously not this particular tub because I've gone through a fair, fair few tubs of that. Um, but I've always had maca root in my den, in my shave den. And it, it performs every time and it, it's just an excellent cream. Now, I mean, the main thing to remember with this is that it's a technique you've got to learn and the first few shaves you may nick yourself, I did. I certainly nicked myself behind the ears, either side, I think. Um, when I first started with this, I was quite surprised because I thought it, it wouldn't nick me, but it, it certainly did. Um, but I don't apply, I apply enough pressure to keep the head planted onto the skin, but not with any pressure 
as long as the head can follow the contours, the pivoting head can follow the contours of this the of the head, that's all you need. And you just let the head do the work. Um, I mean that's absolutely it was a slight bit there. Absolutely superb shave. And you can you know you can always rely on this to give you a good shave. I think these blades are at the end of their useful life, shall we say. They're, uh, I mean, they're doing the job, but they're not quite getting it. I mean, and certainly in the crevices here, they're not getting in there as well as they would do if they were fresh blades. So they will be going into my recycling tub, my blade bank. As I think I've shown you all before. That, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. So here we go over the top. Now, if you normally have a full head of hair um, and you shave your head, the one thing you've got to be careful of is when you look up, you, you create frown creases. I don't have to worry about it because I've got no hair. No hair grows pretty much all the way around there, so I don't have to worry about shaving in areas where I might, you know, where I previously had hair when I was younger. Um, that's the only thing I would say, but you've got to do that whether you're using this razor or a DE or an SE. The only one I guess you wouldn't have to worry about is if you were using an electric razor. Um, but it's those lines there um, because the, the blade will catch that. <clears throat> right, okay, just feel around. That's a BBS. Three pass shave all the way around, perfect. So what I'm gonna do is what I usually do is I'm gonna clean up and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Cold rinse time. I can still feel the cooling effect of that mentholated PAA cube. Um, oh, that's great. There's still plenty of slickness left on my head. And I think this was one of the best finds early in the early days of my shaving career or shaving journey. This, this was one of the earliest treasures that I found. That along with the Tob Sandalwood cream. I mean, they're probably some of the best creams I've ever used. But I don't use a lot of creams. I, I'm trying to, I'm probably going to be buying a few more creams, but I've got Arco creams. I think, yeah, I've got palm olive, I've got tobs, I've got uh, body shop, and I've probably got a couple more, but I can't, I think I've got a little St. James of London sample. But yeah, I might start getting some more creams, but if I'm honest, I do prefer to use um, hard soaps or cropes, uh, certainly for the face shaves. Dome shaves, creams are brilliant because you don't have to worry about lathering up, and I prefer to lather up on the, on the dome because it is just so relaxing. So that feels great. And it's, it's super slick still. So as I say, that, that body shop is absolutely brilliant. The one thing I would say to the body shop if they watch this video is do some more scents. 
do the body shop citrus or body shop whatever do some more male shaving soap scents instead of just doing macaroot there's never any other shaving scent on offer the body shop is mainly uh, products that women use uh, and is not really designed they have a men's section but it's it's probably about 10 uh, well no it's probably about a hundredth of the shop stock um, it really is uh, they've got some um, what do you call not eau de cologne is it eau de cologne the spray bottles like eau de parfum i don't know um it's the spray ones I, and i'm not i don't mind using the spray ones especially if you're going to go out um you know going out to impress it's unlikely in my village um not certainly that it's mainly men that goes to my go to my pub so because it's sort of rugby and pools and and that kind of stuff so i would say 90 to 95 percent of the people who go to that pub are, are men so anyway um right next oh such a the, actually that tea tree and witch hazel goes really well with macaroon i'm uh, trying to finish off this boots so i have got another bottle in the cup in my den ready to uh, take its place so i'm going to attempt that's rather a lot to use up in one go but let's see oh a little bit of a burn i didn't bother with the alum i forgot I wish I hadn't now this is this is burning a little bit this is nothing like Wednesday's burn this is uh, how do I compare it it's like a cap gun going off in comparison to a nuclear bomb <laughs> which was Wednesday that was that was probably the biggest burn I've ever experienced on my face but there we go this this was nothing this was yes it was a burn but it was only slight and i'm using nivea six in one act your age or sorry active age as i keep saying i know it's an old joke <clears throat> i'll have to stop one of these days um this is I, I actually really rate this this is really nice cream um and it's just one squirt and that's all it needs for the full face and head to be honest really really nice so that ladies and gentlemen is the end of the shave oh the one thing I wanted to show you um, for if sorry I've forgotten your name the person that I was talking to on Facebook and and they've actually gone ahead and ordered um, ordered one of these um, when you get it i mean the, the way to clean it after you've i don't clean it sort of where the take the blades out every shave i leave the blades in until i've finished the third i always clean the outside of it with a toothbrush and then i when i actually replace the blades i clean thoroughly inside now one of the problems that i've experienced and uh, i don't know whether it's just me or whether others have done the same this magnet see that little silvery sort of red dot there that's a magnet that holds the blade as you as you place it in and there's one on each section so there's another magnet here see that little circle that's another magnet and then there's another circle here so that's another magnet so on each leaf if you like there is a magnet that one's popped out once that one's popped out once um that one hasn't popped out so i've had two magnets drop out and all i did was i got some super glue let it let this dry put some super glue on place the magnet in its correct position and leave it for 10 minutes and it's fine and, and they haven't popped out again so um that's the only issue i've had with this so if it happens to you super glue or some kind of glue strong glue uh, and that works fine and then you just do up the uh, thumb screw at the back and put it away until you want to next use it <clears throat> so that's it from me and the leaf razor I've just shown you I will see you all tomorrow for my face shave which um, for, uh, because it's um, UK soap August 
I'm probably going to be using Tobbs. Um, one that I, I've used once before. Um, it was last mo the Monday that I missed uh, for various reasons. Um, I'm going to use a lemon and lime Tobbs tomorrow. So uh, I look forward to that. I'm looking forward to the shave if I'm honest. See you all tomorrow. Bye now.